Hello, I'm Arthur. Welcome to my lab. Another update on the Hypercube XL build. Um, I was talking with some guys on um, Hypercube Facebook page about the power supplies. And it turns out that they use uh, HP server power supplies for their um, printers. And that's, that's a good source of power because these power supplies are um, higher powered, they provide more amps, and even though they provide only 12, 12 volt, that's all you really need for Hypercube or any 3D printer. So um, I just searched eBay for HP uh, server power supply, and I came across this power supply, which I didn't really pay attention much to the cords. Well, I realized that uh, this harness is kind of like a regular PC, but I thought that this would be the uh, the right power supply and then later actually I was given the link to to the actual power supply that these other guys used and that's the size of this power supply a lot smaller than what I came up with and actually it was a few dollars cheaper too so this this is actually the power supply that you want to go with if you are building a larger size um, hypercube with a bigger sized bed. This power supply is I believe somewhere around 600 watt so that's still a, a good size um, if you're using the power supplies from eBay those range around uh, 200 to 300 plus maybe 400 amps uh, watt uh, so definitely this is a much better choice but the problem with this power supply is that it's really loud. So I'm not sure if I'll be using this uh, power supply at all. Maybe for some one-off purposes. Definitely not something that I want to keep uh, powered on all the time. I'm actually looking around for a power cord that I can use to uh, demonstrate how loud this power supply is. Let's plug it in for a moment. And enjoy the, the noise. So here it is, the fans kick in for just standby power, but here's the actual real power. Hopefully you can hear this, this is pretty loud. And this is the power supply and hopefully I can power it on, it actually requires a little jumper cord this is the the power supply that's recommended to be used and to power it on there's a edge connector here and you need to short through a 1k or 500 ohm resistor you need to short this first pin then skip these two and this one two three four this fourth pin needs to be shorted to the first pin and that's what turns this power supply on so let's hear how loud this power supply is when it's powered on it's supposedly on right now and I don't even hear anything let's actually use a voltmeter to make sure that it indeed does turn on I'm trying to position this meter so you can see the readout. There we go. So this is ground here, I believe. This is the positive. Let's see if it turns on. This is actually a new power supply that I haven't tested yet. So hopefully it will turn on. 
not, I will be disappointed. Yep, 12.3 volt. And no noise. None at all. I'm sure that under load it will make some noise. But yeah, that's a lot better than this other power supply. So actually, this is a second power supply that I, that I bought in, in this type. This is a 750 watt, by the way, so even better than, than that other noisy power supply. The original power supply that I got, I've already converted. I've removed this bracket here, this, this pull tab. I removed that. And also, I've removed the power inlet and replaced it with the connectors because I'm going to run a wire to a power inlet mounted on my extrusions and also to mount this power supply to uh, to extrusions to my printer I've designed these brackets they're kind of based on another uh, similar looking bracket but that one only had one tab here at the top to mount to the extrusion I added the second tab here on the bottom so that you have two mount points and that's a much more sturdy mount compared to the original design that only had one tab and that was kind of flopping around. <clears throat> so uh, these, of course, will be posted on, on my Thingiverse. And this is the power supply that I will be using for my Hypercube XL. Again, the power output uh, of this power supply is 12 volt. 62.5 amp maximum so that should be plenty to power my hypercube excel